위에 
So as you can see here, we got the front axle out of the tractor. This yesterday, we got it all out. Um, this is my father, you've probably seen the video. Give me a hand, he dropped in, so naturally I put him to work, why not? Uh, so yeah, I picked up this tractor. It's a 1974 International 574 um, diesel. Tractor's in great shape, it runs awesome. Um, the loader works great. Just very few things I got to do to this. Um, and most of it's just a little bit of shimming and tightening things up. The worst thing I found was this front axle. It, uh, the bushings were wore out. Little sleeves that go in them, they were wore out. And the, the pin was a little wore, had a slight bend to it. So up and down, the axle was still quite snug, but it was going back and forth like this. Um, so anyway, it's just uh, I wanted to I wanted to get that pulled apart and tightened up before the snow really starts flying here. Um, we're getting into late November here in Nova Scotia, so we're going to start getting dumped on pretty much any time. So anyway, um, we got it out. We're going to get it tightened up. Um, I was glad to see bushings or sleeves come out of it. Um, there was another piece here too. It just broke out as I was taking it out. So that's telling me that these bores are still round, which is great. Um, I, I, I'm gonna, I gotta clean them up and measure them. I, if they're egg shaped any, obviously we might have to bore them out or, or whatnot, but um, if they're anywhere as close to round, I'm happy. Then I'm gonna make up some new sleeves and I can drive them in, I'm gonna make up a new pin and that's gonna be good. The, uh, the ears on the tractor itself, um, they're still super tight. The pin, we had to, as you've seen, we had to blow the pin out um, with some arc air rods or oxygen lance rods. So uh, that's good. And uh, we, had, we, had, we did have to do some fighting with it. We'll get the pin. <coughs> the pin was really stuck in there and there's really no ways to beat it out or pry it out. Um, so I blew through it as you can see there it blasted through the side a little bit but that's okay it didn't hurt anything because in the center of this axle is just kind of an open housing or like a void and uh, the pin from the factory is actually machined down right in that area just to give it lots of clearance so the axle bushings run here and here and then the ears on the tractor itself run here and here so anyway, it was, uh, it was, it's still good and tight in the tractor, but at the end of it, we had to weld a, a nut on the pin and, um, and get my big three quarter impact on it and get it moving, get it spinning. At least it started cleaning itself up. And then as I, as I spun it, we got a pry bar on it and we finally got it loose. So anyway, um, it's going to be a lot of cleaning up to do. I got to clean up the ears and that you say, clean up this measure it all we'll get some new sleeves made i'm going to make a new pin uh, the steering mechanism here needs a little bit of work it's all pretty minor stuff some couple more sleeves a small pin no big deal so we're going to get that all done up and um, get this back under the tractor and get the wheels back on it i think there might be a wheel seal too but i mean even all the tie rods are still tight like a lot of the rubbers are kind of rotted off over the years, but I don't know. I'm leaving them. I'm going to keep them full of grease and I'm going to let them run until they fail, right? It's whatever. So that's where we're at with this. But anyhow, like I said, it's uh, 74 International. Uh, a local guy had it for sale. I've been looking for something here around the shop for snow clearing and for lifting. And uh, I don't know, I've seen this. We went out to look at it, my father and I. And I, uh, I was kept in contact with a good buddy of mine. He kind of eats, sleeps, and breathes tractors. So um, I was, you know, texting him and calling him. And, and uh, yeah, we came to the conclusion that I think this is a, it's a, a real shoe in for what I need here. Um, it's got a factory loader on it. Loader's got down pressure. 
loader uh, one one side there. The loader bracket on one side just needs to be tightened up. That's all. Like just the the bolts over time kind of started coming loose. So we'll pull them out, and check them. But I mean, the loader it's it's in great shape. It's got lots of power. Um, I might be, I might finally be able to, to keep some room in the shop here. My, my biggest issue was anything heavy, like my big table that was in here. And I had some quick attaches off excavators in here. Um, I, you know, I, I'd have to flag someone down, one of the neighbors going by with their tracker, tractor or their backhoe and get them to lift stuff in and out of the shop. And then once it's in the shop, that's it. It's got to stay in here, you know. I can move it around with my gantry crane, but I can't get anything back outside. So this is gonna be great. Um, I moved a bunch of stuff out with it yesterday, poked the tractor in here, you know, still uh, still room to work around it. So it's great, I'm real happy with this purchase. So anyway, um, you say it's two wheel drive, came with ring chains. <clears throat> ring chains are getting, uh, some of the links are getting pretty wore on there, but um, we'll keep our eye open. We might be able to find another set or we can fix these up or something. So anyhow, uh, I'm sure there's going to be more, more videos, more content on this tractor as we go. You know? um, my biggest concern is to get this axle fixed and get it back under it so the tractor's mobile. And then maybe through the winter, if things are quiet again, you know, stuff like that's got to be tightened up. Um, clean up some of the hydraulic hoses, just tidy them up. All that kind of stuff. It's uh, not real critical right now. So, but yeah, yeah. Anyway, let's get back at her.